don't let me drown Don't let me drown Hi, I'm Lydia and today I'm doing a collab with Louise. Today we're going to be talking about music, music we listen to. I did the editing a bit different and I hope you enjoy it. I just thought I'd say hello, hi, welcome, if you're new, subscribe. The edit in this video is different how I normally edit collab. And if you don't know who Louise is, her links are in the description down below. So yeah, let's get into this video. I will allow Louise to introduce the subject. Hey guys, my name is Lou. I am from the two channels, Lily Beaverfall and Advice with Lou. And Lydia has invited me over to her channel today. I need a Today, I say, it's, it's tonight when I'm filming this, but it's today for you guys, probably. So... <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> so yeah, we're looking at music today. So Lydia has invited me over onto her channel once again to this time talk about music, the inspiration behind it, what it means to me personally and share a few song recommendations. And I'm excited so let's go. Now I, I am not talented enough to sing, but I'll sing anyway. But music means so much to me because music has always been a huge part of my life. So, like the we said, music is a huge help to me. It helps me the same way it helps her. Like, it helps me get through things. I feel emotions very intensely, and sometimes music is all it takes to just calm my needs down. Music says everything for me that I can't say out loud. It talks about every single thing that I'm struggling with. There's a song for everything. Music inspires me to make quotes, to write poems, to write letters. It inspires me to make YouTube videos. It inspires me to be creative and to write and to find all these ways of opening up to people. Music for me is such a thing that inspires me to get up. It's what gets me going. When I'm down, it's the one thing that makes me feel things. With copy health, it's a healthy coping mechanism that I'm glad that I do use. My favourite form of music is vinyls and let me, show you, let me quickly show you my vinyl collection. They're the vinyls that I have. Since music gets me going the other day, it, I wouldn't be the same person without it. Some of my top plays on my phone. Let me just get my laptop because obviously I've got iTunes on my laptop as well. I got a new sticker for my laptop too, down here. It's made me quite happy. So my playlist is pretty basic, I don't listen to a lot. Songs, most played, we've got Linkin Park, One Step Closer, Hollywood Undead, A Kill Cause I'm Hungry, Chalk Outlines by Three Days of Grace, Villains Part 1 by Emma Blackery, Snitches and Toxkers, Fall Out Boy, Misery Business, Paramore, From the Inside, Linkin Park, Shatter Me, Lizzie Hay, Papa Roach, Singular and Destructor and then I'm in the process of downloading Nightwish songs because I love their music. If you don't know what I mean, reaction series, it's a playlist in the description down below, I highly recommend. Got some Demi Lovato on here, Evanescence. Most of my music is loud, metal-y stuff, but that gives you an insight into what I listen to. Music helps me feel emotions. And because I have BPD, I feel them on a very intense level. So the songs I listen to are pretty intense, but the intensity matches the personality and it actually calms me down a lot. And it's kind of why I've got Bluetooth speakers literally everywhere in my room. Even in my bathroom, I've got one that sticks in the shower. Like, I like me some music. So I'm going to pass my home to Louise and that's it for my segment. I don't have much more to say. Music is such a great way to express yourself and I express myself through music as well, just not by singing because I can't sing for crap. <laughs> so this year I have been going through a breakup and I will now recommend a few songs that have helped me get through the breakup <laughs> that's still helping me to get through said breakup. <laughs> so the first two that have came to mind are Lose You Till You Love Me, Look At Her Now, both by Selena Gomez. At this point in time, they are both her newest songs of her new album and I cannot wait to hear the rest of the album. I usually always turn to Selena songs when my life is going wrong with boys because she has a song for every one of my moods. 
you know, when you're happy, when you're sad, when boys are just annoying the crap out of you and you're like, honey, no, no, don't cross me like that. Selena has a lot of breakup songs, but her two new ones are my all-time favourites and I cannot choose between them. And if YouTube wasn't so strict on their copyright, I would love to play some, some of the music for you, but sadly I can't do that. Another breakup song by Selena that I absolutely love and adore and can relate to 100% is the heart wants what it wants. I don't know how many of you guys know this about me but I suffer from more or less social anxiety and agoraphobia. Those are the two things I was diagnosed with. So Selena collabed on a song earlier this year? Last year? No? Earlier this year? I don't know. I think it was earlier this year. It's called Anxiety. I think it's actually by Julia Michaels and Selena had featured on it. It was my jam for the longest time when it came out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> so I have songs I love about mental health and I experienced a suicide loss in my life a few years ago and the song that helps me to get through the anniversaries and the birthdays of my loved one. So a song that really helps me to get through his anniversaries and his birthdays every year is a song that I actually found last year and it is by Lucy Spragan and it's called Dear You. The songs I mentioned, if Lydia wants to put links in the description down below, um, of songs I mention. That's what I do with my accent tag series that I run on my channel. Songs that get mentioned because of YouTube copyright, I don't put them in the video, I just link them in the description. I'm trying to think what else. We've covered mental health, covered breakups. When I want to film and I need to get in a pumped up kind of mood, you know, I need to get a little bit hyper, a little bit like, yes, I'm pumped up to film, I'm not feeling sad and low anymore, I'm going to get happy. I listen to old, old songs because I am so old. <laughs> I listen to Low featuring T-Pain. Who remembers that song? <laughs> by Florida and T-Pain. I listen to Crank That by Soldier Boy. The songs I'm also currently kind of like addicted to at the minute that I've been listening to non-stop the last like two weeks. <laughs> And I literally just found them so like they're still kind of new to me so I'm still in that kind of phase so I need to play them every single day and learn every single word and bop to it for the rest of my days. <laughs> that kind of phase. <laughs> it is a song called Naked Truth and it is by Abby Anderson. 100% recommend it. I absolutely love it. Better Luck Next Time by Kelsey. A few other breakup type songs have been helping me get through this breakup are Teeth by Five Seconds Somewhere and they are my all time favourite band. I have them on my wall. I've been listening to the song Uptown, Common Jack, Poison by Johnny Gilbert and I absolutely love and adore that song. Like I'm so proud of him for that song. I feel every word. And last but not least, I will end this on a Scottish artist that I absolutely love and adore and I only found him earlier this year. I'm so late to the game, I know. Lewis Capaldi! I absolutely love him. I love his song, Someone You Love, because at the minute, like I said, I'm going through a breakup and it just every word at the minute it just speaks to my soul. I don't know how else to explain it is you know when you're going through a breakup and you're going through all of the emotions and all of, all of the different phases and the cycles and all of that jazz and it just I feel like everything that happens within a breakup and everything that you feel I don't know okay I just I feel like it's a whole entire breakup maybe maybe not I don't know but that's what I'm going to go for to say last because it's Lois Capaldi, he's Scottish, I freaking love him and the song's a massive bop man, like I'm going to admit that I've cried to that song before. <laughs> so that's all of my song choices for you guys. I will actually end this off by saying a little quote. When you're happy you sing along to the music but when you're sad you understand the lyrics. I love that song because I can listen to a breakup song and like sing it along with like heartfelt emotions but also smile through it but if I'm going through like a breakup and obviously I'm going to sit and probably like, cry to the song because it's just what I'm feeling you know sometimes I listen to sad songs and I cry sometimes I listen to sad songs and I don't feel that sad, but I must have listened to them and make myself even more depressed anyway because why would you not want to do that, right? Hope this was okay for you, Lydia. Thank you so much for having me on your channel once again. I'm sure Lydia will be linking my channel in the description bar down below too and maybe you could comment some songs that helped you get through 
a bad mental health day or just your mental health in general. You know, to fit in with Lydia's theme because Lydia's a mental health channel. So comment down below some mental health songs that you would recommend for me or Lydia to listen to and comment down below some of your favourites and explain a reason why that song helped you. I love you all and I will see you guys next time Lydia invites me on. <laughs> Have a good day or night and I will catch you later. Mwah. Bye! Don't let me drown Don't let me drown That is the end of episode one of music with me and Louise have got very different tastes in music so I'm going to do a separate video on what I listen to, what's on my playlist. Though if you guys have been watching my reaction series you kind of know I'm getting really into a new band. I just wanted to say thank you to Louise for coming on my channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video.